Hi, this is Debbie Wicker with the Wicker Homes Group here at Keller Williams in beautiful Northern Virginia. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places on the planet, Stone Tower Winery here in Leesburg, Virginia, about 20 minutes or so away from Dulles Airport if you've ever vis visited the Washington DC area. Stone Tower is a special place to our family and uh, uh, has hold, holds many special memories. And not only am I gonna take you through the winery a little bit and uh, share with you some of the history of this beautiful vineyard and this beautiful uh, winery, but also uh, take you into a really cool uh, historic farmhouse that was built back in the early 1870s. Thank you so much for joining us here. Again, I'm so excited to uh, to tell you and show you a little bit about one of our favorite places here in Loudoun County. And I have the privilege of being able to ask a few questions of Stone Tower's uh, owner, Mike Huber. So Mike, tell me, what made you decide to open up a winery here in Loudoun County? Well, amongst my friends, kind of the joke is having run Belfort Furniture for so many years <laughs> that uh, furniture drove me to drink. <laughs> but, awesome. But, but my family's been farming here in, uh, in Loudoun County since the 70s wow. and we're, we're really excited about, mm. about how we've grown and just what we're producing these days. That's fantastic. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Well, your winery is definitely a go-to here in Northern Virginia. What, about 10 minutes outside of Dulles Airport, 20 minutes from Dulles Airport, not too far mm -hmm. away. Very cool. Well, I know it's one of our absolute favorite locations for all kinds of venues, uh, for all kinds of um, events uh, with this beautiful venue of yours. As a matter of fact, your daughter and, and our daughter got married here last fall on the yes. property, and it was just a fabulous setting to, ha to host a wedding. And we also did an event for our clients a couple of weeks ago here, too, in one of the private rooms upstairs, and it was just a fantastic setting. Really cool. Mm -hmm. So you do corporate events also. We, we absolutely, yeah. Being this nice. close to D.C., Reston, those mm -hmm. areas, we do a lot of corporate events. Uh, close actually Tuesday and Wednesday just in order to host that, 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 that we're able sense. to make that happen. That's so. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, really cool. So tell me, what kinds of things are you guys thinking about for the future? Do you have some, some vision in terms of which direction you might be headed with, with uh, some aspects well, of the winery? Well, we have, we, we try to keep the main thing the main thing, and uh -huh. we want to make a really great product here in terms of with our wine. And we have 85 acres under vine right now. Wow. And over the next couple of years, we'll be over 100. We were very pleased to be invited by Decanter Magazine to be one of a hundred wineries oh in the world to pour over in London in November oh. for Decanter. And so we have our Sauvignon Blanc we're excited about and what a few other ones. So, so we're gonna keep making wine and having fun. Fantastic. So that's our vision. That's <laughs> awesome, very cool. Well, thank mm -hmm. you so much for allowing me to uh, spend a few minutes here with you this afternoon and getting a little bit more uh, information on a fantastic venue, fantastic winery, Virginia My wine. My pleasure. Delicious, thank okay. you so Cheers. much. Thank awesome. you. Awesome, cheers. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Now that we've had a chance to see Stone Tower Winery and the surrounding property, I'm gonna to get to take you in a little sneak peek to a spot that not too many people get to see here. This is an original farmhouse from the property that's been restored. It used to be the owner's uh, home here on the land, and now it is the bride's cottage for when the brides and the bridesmaids get ready for the wedding here on the property. It is a totally cool little house, and it's been restored. It was built in the 1870s, and it's a terrific example of some of the many historic homes that you will find here in Loudoun County. Let's go take a peek. I think one of the things that just makes this cottage so charming to me is they kept the original uh, look and feel of the interior of the cottage, but they updated it in some really beautiful ways. You've got your granite counters, you've got your stainless appliances, you've got this beautiful window that overlooks the vineyard. I love the beams that you see overhead and the way they've decorated it is in a really simple farmhouse style um, and just really cool original facets of the building. Just really cool things like the, um, the doors, the farmhouse doors that they've kept in Packed, yet they've decorated it in a simple yet tasteful way. It was a really fun day to um, be able to spend the day here getting ready for our daughter's wedding last fall and um, it had uh, a day full of lovely memories for all of us. This is the master bedroom of the original cottage 
And this is the room where the bride gets ready for the wedding ahead of time. And of course, a beautiful renovated bathroom and uh, all of it overlooking those beautiful vistas of the vineyard. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of American Dream TV. I'm going to sit back and enjoy my glass of wine, and I hope you do the same. And cheers until the next time we meet. Take care. Bye.